Monday morning is here. Another week. The weather's nice out. I think I'm a little too bundled up, but if I get too hot, I can pull over and take take a layer off. But we'll see once I get out there. Got to head into work. It's time to get going. Just loading up my saddlebags here. Uh, my hat, water, extra camera mounts, different pair of pants for when I get there because these are lined pants. Again, just in case if it's a little cooler than it looks. Regular pants. What else do I got in here? Otherwise, oh, sunglasses. Need that. I think we're ready to go. She got me here. Once again. Oh, this thing's gonna go forever. These Yamahas, they they go forever and the parts are cheap on them. Got my little stand here. Make sure that doesn't go into the sink in there, into the ground. We're ready to go. Start the truck and begin the day. That means it was in the shop. I knew this isn't where I parked it. I had parked it further that way, towards the edge of the spot. Wonder what they did. Well, let's open up the hood, check the oil. Already unlatched it, so. They service it again? I didn't think it needed a service yet, but I'm gonna have to take it. Well, they definitely topped up the oil. They didn't change the oil, but they topped it up. That's good. Good, good, good. Remember, maybe they were just checking on the oil levels. Obviously, I would tell them before the oil got low, but as, a, as I was saying, I think they watched the videos as well in the shop and I've mentioned a couple of times, it burns oil ever so slightly. If you don't pay close attention, you wouldn't even notice it. But I check the oil every day just to make sure. And after several weeks, you can see it's just, she's burned just a little bit. She's an old truck. She's got like 1.85 million kilometers on it. That's like 1.3 million miles or something like that. She's doing pretty good. Solid as a painter. will go quite a while yet just got to take care of it maintain it and notice those little things before they become big things right I don't know what else they did they never leave a list of what they did is this tires new I don't know, the tires are still the same I noticed the fifth wheel wasn't greased well it is greased but it's not freshly greased you know what I mean well, it's probably just topping up the oil you see this blue truck here with the boom? The knuckle boom, they call it, I think. I'm being trained on that next week, Monday to Wednesday. That should be interesting. We have two trucks like that. And uh, they can unload trailers themselves. The trailers have like poles and stuff, big, long poles. Should be fun. I don't know if I would drive this truck or if I would drive the other one's being used full-time and this one's only being used part-time right now yeah next Wednesday Tuesday no Monday Tuesday and Wednesday I'm being trained on this thing it's a nice one eh? big heavy-duty steer tires there is a guy who drives that truck already, uh, Roger. But he also drives a second truck, a different truck. Uh, and I think him and another guy here named Anthony, they're the, as far as I know, they're the boom truck operators. So I'm guessing that they're training me to be like a fill-in for now. Uh, if they need holidays or have a sick day and we need these trucks to go out, I got my training. Like I've always said, I wanna know how to do everything so that I'm as useful as possible. So when I come into work, there's something for me to do every day. Even if what I regularly do is slow and nothing to do, well, I'm trained in everything else. They can just throw me into a different division or throw me into a different setting and I'll be just fine to do that too. Well, there's the load. Doesn't look too intense. 
What's this here? We gotta take this to Rosser, Manitoba, which is on the, uh, just west of Winnipeg. It's like 40 minutes from here, not that far at all. There we go. Nice and simple, nice and simple. Four straps over that, two over this. A couple up at the top there, and bada bing, bada boom. We're in business. I don't need this though. I found this attached to my. Uh, light cord there in the plug It's a uh, Tractor trailer light circuit tester to make sure the lights are working Handy to have but I'm gonna have to return this to the shop. I Guess that's one of the things they were working on yesterday Just Testing the lights and stuff. Wonder if there was a problem with the lights? I check them every day and I haven't had any problems. And maybe they were just making sure so don't forget it. Bring it in to the guys there on my way out of the yard. And off we go to the races. The speed limit races. That guy has been driving right beside me for like five miles. I don't know why. Had I not had to slow down for these people coming onto the highway, he would have just sat there right behind me, right beside me. One of my pet peeves. You know, he pulls out to pass and then he passes me halfway and just sits here right beside me. Why? <laughs> What's going on here? What's with this dump truck? Dicks. I don't like being behind gravel trucks, especially going over bridge connections. They always lose some gravel. We're on Rosser Road. Would you believe it? This road leads to Rosser, Manitoba. Huh. Rosser Road. I'm pretty sure the municipality here, or the county, what they call municipality, is also Rosser. So we're delivering in Rosser, Rosser, on Rosser. Say that again. We're delivering in Rosser, Rosser, on Rosser Road. Rosser, 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 Rosser. I'm trying to say that 20 times fast. I'm going right here to this big thingamajigger here. Or am I going to that one? No, I'm going to that one. You see it's got some of that blue uh, steel stuff that they're building? Building a new elevator. Your destination will be on the right. Well, that was my driveway. That was definitely my driveway. Whoops! Trick Josh! I missed my turn. That's the driveway, I gotta go down there. Okay, we gotta find a place to turn around. Oh, oh, oh joy. Wait, can I get in from over here? place to turn around. Right. We're delivering right there. Okay. Okay. Got too excited. Good thing this isn't a very busy road. I'm gonna go to the next grid road, turn down there and then back across and then come back this way. I think that's the best option we have. I think this is it coming up right here. So, if you wonder, what does Sugar Josh do when he misses his turn? Well, figure out a way to turn this beast around. So I'm gonna turn in this way, and then back down there. Oh, fantastic. It's a nice tiny little road, too. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do this, make sure there's no trains coming. 
somehow just make the day all that much, <laughs> this whole situation worse. Okay, so there's no cars coming from this direction. No cars coming from that direction. Okay, we're gonna back across onto that road. Ten. 
maximum 100. Can you imagine 60 mile an hour through here? We want our freight now. 60 mile an hour. I'll stick with 10. How about that? 10 kilometers. figure out who to talk to here and uh, figure out where this stuff goes probably park off to the side here figure out where their office is and meander my way in there it's a pretty big job site yikes Can you imagine building something like this like you gotta be really smart to build something like that You know, I could maybe I, I I could maybe build a birdhouse, I think, but something like this, I don't know. I don't know. I'll just stick with delivering their stuff that they need. There's the site office right there. I'll walk in there, see where they need me. Ended up unloading me right here, using this big boom truck to uh, lift it up. I'm gonna go around to the other side where I'm out of the way. I don't know, I think they're gonna put it down that road there somewhere maybe with all that stuff. This is apparently the sign that's gonna go up there and have like the big uh, company or corporation logos and signs on it. And apparently they don't need it for like another year yet, but it arrived today. Better early than late. wind picked up just now too as he started picking it up. You got one guy holding it so it doesn't swing around too far. Oh, they're gonna put it over there. Pretty neat though, eh? So this stuff can just be picked up with the forks on pallets. This dunnage, uh, they'll keep, I'm pretty sure. And then we just got this one skid back here yet. And that's it. Idea where they're taking it. Like I said, apparently uh, they only need this stuff in about a year. <laughs> well, at least it made it on time. At least it's here. We're all empty. Gotta remember not to drive straight forward because there's a bunch of <laughs> pieces right there. I can't see because my hood is in the way. There they are. I'm gonna go and do a U-turn out in the open here. Hopefully the cement truck doesn't get in my way. See if I can jackknife it around here. Should have enough room. Oh yeah, I got enough room here. I'm pretty sure of it anyway. It's gonna be tight. Lots of room. Lots of room. I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, we should be good. No problem. Just close 
close my windows so all the dust doesn't get in here. There we go. See that flat piece right there with the thing sticking up? That was our load. That's where they put it. And that's where it will sit for the next year until they need it, I guess. <laughs> They'll probably move it around a couple of times. They gotta be really organized to remember where they put everything, right? called into the load gods, asked them if they need me to pick up anything from here, and they said just bring the trailer back to the yard for now. So we're going back to the yard. See what they have for us. I wanna see this sign. I'm pretty sure the sign said maximum 100 kilometers an hour on the left here, on the bottom, okay? Look at the bottom of this sign. What does it say? No, it says 10, okay. Maximum 10 kilometers an hour. Okay, that makes a lot more sense than 100. <laughs> Oops, my brain added a zero where there shouldn't have been one. I wish the bank would make that kind of mistake with my bank account sometime. That'd be great. Just add a couple more zeros in there, I don't care. gonna be honest with you in yesterday's lazy Sunday video well, we were just pretty much at home the whole day so there wasn't much to film but well, we sat and chatted for a little bit there and the whole time I didn't realize that uh, <clears throat> I had a bunch of my boxers sitting right there so if you noticed it 10 points to you <laughs> did it make you uncomfortable I'll admit it made me uncomfortable for a minute and then I'm like Eh, whatever. <laughs> I've been doing this too long to care. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Guess it was a little Easter egg for those of you that uh, noticed. Just they're just shorts. So, and they're clean. Don't worry, that's the clean pile. So, I think we're all good. So today was a fun day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We delivered two that uh the big elevator whatever you want to call it for their sign i'm actually uh <laughs> i don't go through rosters that often i've actually never been there before but i'm kind of hoping i get to see what that sign looks like on the side of their big building and i want to go past there and put it in my vlog and be like remember a year ago when we delivered that that was me so if you're in the area <laughs> i don't even know what the sign's gonna say to be honest i have no idea but we had a hand in it. So thanks for watching today, everybody. We do make daily videos every day. And uh, I do my best, anyways, to get a new video out every day. As you could tell on the weekend, sometimes on the weekends I take it a little easy. I could either do a, a one-take Saturday and a one-take Sunday, or I could put a couple of clips together just as we hang out. Sometimes we have exciting weekends, and, you know, hopefully this summer we'll get to the beach. And uh, we'll do some work on the land. And other days on the weekend, we just want to sort of... 
hang around the house here a little bit. So you know, life can't be exciting every single day. I've said that many times over the years. But uh, I'm glad you're here to hang out anyways. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you did like it. I'll see you tomorrow and leave me your suggestions of what you'd like to see in future videos down below in the comments. I'll do my best to include it.